everybody? It's your boy Gaming Forte back at it with another video. So if you've been trying to play your games across the family of consoles on Xbox, meaning Xbox One, 360, Windows PC, or any phone device that you have that has access to Windows 10, you will probably notice that you haven't been able to play your games since around 4 p.m. Eastern time. Now this isn't affecting everybody because as you can see, looking at my friends list, there are quite a few people that are still playing games. Of the 98 people I have online, most of them seem to be in games with the exception of some watching TV, but Netflix and everybody else is still playing. So this isn't a game issue. This is more of a system-wide failure by Xbox Live. And like I said, it's not affecting everybody. So basically what this is actually doing is if you click on the actual game, which I'm gonna click on Halo 5, this is a digital copy of the game. You'll get the full size artwork like you see, and it will just boot you to the dash just like that. Right here I have Quantum Break, which is actually a physical copy of the game. I'll click on it. It's gonna pull up the artwork again. Just have to wait a little bit longer for the actual physical copy to recognize that it's there. And same thing, it boosts you straight to the dashboard. Same thing, let's go to another game. Maybe it was a fluke with Halo 5. We'll click on Tomb Raider, another digital copy of the game. And guess what? The beat keeps rolling. And it's just kind of ridiculous at this point. Microsoft just can't buy a break. It's like, you come out with probably one of the most disappointing games comps that you ever had, and then your system to play games on, you can't even do it. It's kind of ridiculous. This, this is like karma. I, I swear, what did Microsoft do to somebody? This is the worst thing that could ever happen to a game developer. Like you make a system to play games and is not able to do it. I just, I just don't get it. This, this is ridiculous. And ultimately, am I gonna really say that Microsoft is 100% at fault for this? Yeah, they are. They own the infrastructure for this. This is something that they're supposed to guard against. Now, if it's like some type of hack going on, even then, upgrade your security measures or something, I don't know what exactly is going on. All I know is right now that there's hundreds of millions of people that own Xbox Ones right now that can't play games. And that's the number one thing that people are griping about on the Xbox platform is games. And right now, Xbox One don't have games because you can't play them unless you're one of those few lucky people that actually have access to be able to do it. You know what, let's let's try one more. Let's try Titanfall. This game right here. Let's see. Oh, just getting in the game ready for you. Your game will start soon. All right, let's see what happens. I click on it. I'll feel real stupid if this actually boots up. I'll have to take this whole video back. Nope, didn't have to. Look at this. Just takes you right back to the dashboard. And that's ridiculous. It's broken, it's flawed, and this is something that needs to be fixed. Microsoft, I know a lot of people that actually called them right now saying that the wait is 60 minutes. They they're trying to find out what the actual problem is. There's no ETA on this. And I am definitely a person that understands that failures and stuff like this happens, but come on, Microsoft, this is just the wrong time for this to come. You're launching a brand new system to play most of these games that you see on this list at a higher fidelity and the fact that right now we can't even play these games on the system we have is just not a good look but i'm sorry about the rant guys i just expected to come home to actually play a game and realize that i can't because xbox live wants to be stupid and i just don't appreciate that because you know a guy being a full-time person with a job and actually trying to do youtube on the side too is just not the best thing when it comes to like trying to play games and i always try to play my games whenever i get a chance so microsoft get this fixed so we can get back to the thing we love to do which is gaming guys what do you think how do you feel about your xbox one being down right now if it is and if it is tell me how long yours has been down for and when did you actually notice it Tell me about that in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Sub to the channel if you liked it. Like this video if you like the content. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And hopefully Xbox Live is up by the end. Peace.